uh, first of all, I'd like to congratulate Pat, his staff, and his team on a uh, – well, great year. He's done a tremendous job in his two years there, and his kids are uh, well coached. They compete and presented a tough challenge for us tonight, especially after the last time we played them where you know they pretty much had their way with us on both sides of the basketball. Um, but tonight we went into it. You know, with the with the mindset of you know, listen, let's let's make sure that we take care of the things that we can control. Let's share the basketball. Let's limit them to just one shot. And let the chips fall where they may. And uh, I thought we came out uh, in the first half with, a, you know, just maybe a few nerves. It's their first home playoff game in the Reto. And uh, we settled in a nine-point lead going into halftime. And you know, these guys, Rennell, Max, and Josh, uh, certainly shared the load of putting us in a position to extend the lead uh, throughout the course of the second half. But, you know, one person that's not up here in particular is uh, Brad McCabe. And I thought Brad's minutes that he gave – I don't even know how many points he had, but the physicality and how hard he played, uh, I thought he really gave us a lift to allow these other guys to be able to play a little bit more freely. But, uh, you know, it's win and move on, and these guys are promised two more practices and one more game. But I'm pleased with, the, you know, the way we uh, came out, executed the game plan to have three turnovers against a team that, um, you know, does a really good job of pressuring our guards. And I thought Rennell, uh, Cam, and uh, Landon certainly gave us, uh, you know, an opportunity to get the ball to Max and Josh, who had the hot hand tonight. One more game that we're promised. Certainly looking forward to competing with these guys uh, for 40 minutes. Uh, it's just what we've been building for all year. Um, we've done a great job of integrating guards and bigs in and out of, in practices. And um, we had Landon come back tonight. So um, we did a good job just like he came back right away and we clicked. And you know, Rennell got him back into the fold. And guys like him, Max, um, Luke, just the guys I can think of right now, everyone just did a great job of you know sticking together. And you know, we're starting to hit our stride. Just in general, rebounding the basketball, you know. Um, we struggled that in the last game against Wagner and, and the last time against um, Central Connecticut State. So uh, we knew if we rebounded, kept them off the glass, didn't turn the ball over, they were going to have to play us in a half court, and you know how that goes. So you know, we just kind of crushed them. Uh, very important, but we main, we mainly try to play through our defense. So like offense is a it's important, but defense is like way more important. I'm still going to ask you another <laughs> offense question, and that is, uh, you know, you you you've got uh, Josh, who you know is going to be scoring, you know, pretty regularly. How important was it? Did you feel to yourself coming in to be able to come out there and? Something offensively to to really make Central Connecticut State have to pick their poison. It seems like when you guys are hitting a few threes, it's really tough to defend you guys. It's very important because you got guys in the perimeter that's making shots. You can't double Josh all night. So it's like, what are you going to do? You double him, you're going to kick the ball out, find the right person. we making shots, then it's leaving one on one for him. So you got to pick your poison. Max, another big scoring game. Now you're, you're really ending the year in a nice. You know, what was working for you tonight? What did you think going through the scouting report was going to be there for you uh, on the offensive end? And in general, what were you looking, what were you looking at from yourself? Well, uh, just to get to my high spots, get to the open area. We knew they were going to collide on Josh a lot in the post. So just being ready to knock down my shot whenever it was available. We had, uh, like I said, I don't, I don't I thought that there was, like I said, about that 20-minute stretch there. It was almost like artistry. Uh, there was great passing. There was finishing shots. 
you know, how can you build on that, uh, you know, going on the road here? What can you take away from that and, and you know, and, and maybe carry you into the next round? Is, is there anything that you can, can, is there any way that you can make it carry over? I mean, not really. We're just going to turn the page. This game's over with. We're going to prepare for FDU. So we're going to look at the scout, look at what we got to do to guard them, score on them. So that's all we're going to do is turn the page. It's winning win in advance, mm -hmm. but to win with this kind of performance, with the kind of efficiency that you had, uh, how big is that as you're trying to you know, put together like a, the, that three-win streak here at the end of the season? That's important. I, th I think you know, the guys in the locker room understand that you know, with, with these three that are sitting with me tonight, that there could be three more guys that could step up and perform at a high level the next night out. And as a head coach, when you know you can – bring a group of guys who really don't care who gets the credit, it makes my job a lot easier. You know, we talked about Rennell, I think, two games ago. He didn't hit a shot. I think he was 0 for 5. But when you look at the plus minus, he was plus 21 because he did so many other things well. He took care of the basketball. He got us to spots. You know, and with bringing Landon back, you know, you don't just throw him into the fire. Having guys like Cam and Rennell to be able to, you know, ease him back into it makes, you know, that rotation for me a lot easier. And, uh, you know, it's this time of the year, it's it's about, you know, whether you play two minutes or 42 minutes, leaving it all out on the floor. And I'm just thankful that these guys had the opportunity to experience a crowd here in DeGaulle Arena. Great support from the community. Our students were there, a band, and, you know, and the cheerleaders are awesome. And I hope they're hungry for that because that kind of atmosphere is why you put the jersey on. And so to have a group that understands, listen, it's, it's anybody's night. Obviously, the two guys sitting right here were all conference performers for us, and they are very deserving of that. Co-player of the year, there are a lot of other guys in the locker room that are a big part and can be a big part of um, you know, us winning a basketball game. And these three just did their job tonight. Yeah, I, we 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 had two really good practices, and uh, at shoot around today we always finish with free throws. And usually the free throws, I have to remind them to stay focused. Ten minutes, you get these kids to focus for ten minutes, right? Just to, <laughs> easier said than done. But there wasn't. You could hear a pin drop today as we were shooting free throws. And in fact, for the first time, probably in seven or eight years, both the, the, the two groups finished tied. And so we had to have a shoot-off to see who was going to win. And, you know, that, that focus. Fact check there, that actually happened in Butler. Uh, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like 10 years ago, no, but that. That, the, the magic. I don't, I don't want to say anything. You know what? I was, I was just in, I was awestruck by Hinkle Fieldhouse. I had just finished my performance of measuring the free throw and having you measure the. I was, I was still staring at the stars, Josh, so thanks for reminding me. But the, the, the focus that they had in shoot-around today, I thought we'd come out with. Um, you know, a, a level of competitive greatness, being being playing with emotion, not being emotional, because they did it for two days in practice and then to shoot around today. Josh, one last thing for me. Coach, Coach mentioned, you know, the, the, the emotions, having to balance the emotions. The first home playoff game that you guys have had were, were really that you played a lot. I mean, I know you were here, but, you know, you weren't in the playing rotation back when, when St. Francis last hosted the playoff game. What was that like? How did how did you know? How was the team kind of in the locker room getting ready to come out, and uh, and, and how did that play into the early moments? Of the game? Yeah, the energy was awesome. Uh, I've been waiting for this game. I haven't played a, in a playoff game in in my four years time, uh, just for different reasons. But yeah, I mean, it was we were pretty we were all locked in and focused, and we know what our goal is. Our goal isn't just to beat uh, Central Connecticut State, it's to move, keep keep winning and move on. You know, so um, ultimately win a NEC basketball championship.